Hey, welcome to this video. We're gonna solve Lico problem 136, single number, which is pretty easy to solve. It'll give you an array of numbers, and you have to return which number appears just once. So in this second example, four is the only number that appears just once, so we return the number four. Now even though this problem is really easy to solve, I think the technique you use to solve this problem is incredibly reusable, and you're gonna use it a lot to solve other leak code prompts. So this is like a good foundation problem to know how to solve, to solve future problems. And of course, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so more free content comes out. And with that being said, let's get started. So I'll go to my code editor. I'll say const ht for hash table is equal to an empty JavaScript object. And what this hash table will do is create a count of how many times something appears. So let's say the number 1,000 appears four times. Our hash table will store that. The number three appears, I don't know, 2,200 times, right? Of course, we can also use this to say how many times a string appears, like maybe hello world, etc. But for this problem, we're just counting the number of times a number appears. So let's do this for now. And now we have to fill this hash table up with a tally, right? And we're going to use a for of loop. So I'll say for const num. You can call this variable whatever you want, but I'll call it num. For const num of nums, right? Because we're going through the input array called nums. I'll say const, or not const, I'll say ht num is equal to ht num plus one or one. And literally this single line of code will create a tally count of this. So what's going on here? Well, let's say our num here is a thousand, right? Well, then we're gonna increase the count from four to five. So that's what this chunk of, this chunk of code does. But what about this or one operator? Now let's say a new number appears that we've never seen before, like the number 1337, right? Well, if it's the first time that 1337 appears, ht, ht num, which is asking does number 1337 appear in this uh, hash table object? Well, it doesn't, right? There's no 1337 in here. So this chunk will evaluate to false or undefined or like a falsy value. And the or operator, it says if whatever to the left of it evaluates to untruthy or false, we'll use whatever's on the right-hand side. So now, ht num will be equal to one. So let's say, oh, this is the first time that 1337 appears, make it the number one, because this is the first time it appears, and we see 1337 again, this evaluates the true, and we only run this code, and we increase it by one to two. So this for loop here creates this tally count, and now we'll just say for, I'll use a for in loop, which if we check the documentation, is a really easy way to loop over the keys and values of a JavaScript object. And our hash table is a, well, JavaScript object. So I'll use a for in loop, so I'll just call it for key, const key, but you can call it whatever you want. They use property, I'll just use key. For const key in hash table, I'll say if hash table key, right? So if this value here, is equal to one, then I'll say return key. So I'll copy this, head over to leap code, and let's submit. Okay, cool, so we pass. And before we go over the time and space complexity, if you like this kind of content, I also have paid content on my website of kaeducation.com where I go over more complex leap code problems, and we also go over data structures too, which is pretty foundational if you wanna pass an interview. Now that being said, let's go over the uh, time and space complexity. So time complexity is O of n. We loop through the input array, right? So right here, this for loop goes over every element in the input array, O of n. And space complexity is O of n from our hash table, right? We use this hash table and, well, we fill it up with values. And worst case scenario, O of n. And that should be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in future videos.